Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have some new toys to use with the DJI Osmo. You know, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I got this new camera and I really haven't done a whole lot with it that you've seen. Mostly because the audio kind of sucks, doesn't it? I mean, once you go outside, the audio kind of sucks. I'm at about arm's length right now. So if I touch it, I got long arms though. So you're pretty far away. I really, really wanted the expansion pack or the expansion kit, which gives me the clip. I'm using the clip now to hold the camera. Comes with the wireless base. And of course, on top there is the gimbal controller, which I will find the least useful out of that kit. Also included in there is a 32 gig micro SD card, which I also didn't need, but it came with the kit. So more is better than none, right? The other thing that I ordered too was this microphone adapter, and that's it. It was 39 US dollars for this USB-C on one end and three and a half millimeter on the other end. And that lets me use a 3.5 millimeter microphone. Now I do have a 3.5 mil millimeter microphone. It's a Rode MicroLav Plus, which is boom, right there. Not currently using it. We are currently using the built-in microphones on the DJI Osmo. Osmo Pocket. I have to remember, it's an always an Osmo Pocket. So in order to get this smart lav to work with that camera, the one you're looking at right now, I need this adapter, which is a 3.5 millimeter. And then I need for the microphone is this adapter, um, which is made by Rode. It is $22. So it takes the four section iPhone compatible microphone and makes it into a three section TRS um, adapter so I can use this on my SLRs. I'm also going to use a an extension um, for this because it is you know it's a short cable to go up under my shirt. So we're going to do a couple of different things here. We are in pro mode with auto microphone gain currently and it is um, I'm about an arm's length away. The camera is set up on a tripod in the clamp and I'm going to get closer. I'm going to plug in my adapter here and we're going to see how it sounds without moving it much. Right, right. There we go. That's it. So now we're using this microphone here. How do I sound? Like a DJ announcer? Are you watching a high quality production now? Has the production level gone from here to here? Maybe. Now, here's the thing. Um, there is there are three different microphone gains in the camera. And the problem is that you have to be in pro mode to gain access to those controls. And you can't record and change those microphone levels. Which is a little bit of an issue for me, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's change it from auto to low, then moderate, then high inputs using this microphone. Then we're going to do it again with the built-in microphones, low, moderate, high. All right, so here's how you change it. First, you have to stop recording. Then up here, you hit the pro, which brings up that menu. And then the microphone gain is right there. Microphone gain is now low. So hit record again. This is the microphone gain that is very low. Okay, this is the moderate microphone setting using the Rode SmartLav Plus. This is the high microphone gain input and I don't think it works as well as automatic. I've used automatic before and I think that it's going to, it's going to be the way I use this, this camera from now on, I think. So let's move from uh, automatic with the lav and we're going to go back to the built-in microphones on automatic gain and again all this is happening inside my office so there's no the ambient sound is very low
Okay, here we are back with the automatic gain and the built-in microphones on the DJI Osmo Pocket. Sounds not too bad until there's any amount of wind or any amount of ambient noise. Let's change it to the low input now on the built-in microphone. This is the low microphone gain on the built-in This is the moderate microphone input on the DJI Osmo Pocket. This is the high microphone input on the built-in microphones in the DJI Osmo Pocket. This is what it's like when you take a walk outside and you use the inbuilt uh, microphones. Um, it's dead calm spring day. It's actually really nice out. No traffic. Birds are tweeting. So let's plug in the microphone now, the Smart Lav Plus, and see how it goes. Now we're dealing with the Smart Lav Plus plugged into the adapter. And uh, how do we sound? Should be pretty good. There's very little um, ambient noise out here now, so should sound pretty good. Um, I'm pretty sure the last time I used the built-in microphones while walking, it was really noisy. Um, because I'm using the clamp, I'm also not holding the camera either, so that should probably help with the built-in because there's one on the front and one on the back. And generally, when you're holding it, you're covering up one or both of the microphones with your hands. This way definitely helps. So I'm actually going to pop the clamp out, go back to uh, the built-ins and try it without, um, without the clamp and see if I cover up the mics. Let's give it a shot. All right. So this is using the built-in cameras or the built-in microphones and uh, just holding it with my hands, making sure not to cover up the front microphone or the bottom. If I was to hold it like with a broomstick or something, I'm probably holding it like this and that would be covering up one of the microphones. I'm also not holding the camera either, so that should probably help with the built-in because there's one on the front and one on the back. And generally, when you're holding it, you're covering... Okay, so what do you think? Built-in microphones or SmartLav Plus? There's definitely an advantage for the SmartLav Plus. Super clean audio. But then you don't get any of the ambient sounds from where you're walking. Of course, today was a pretty stellar day to test microphones with zero wind whatsoever. Anyway... What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below and uh, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you next time. And if you're interested in totally random videos, click that subscribe button. And uh, if you find it useful, hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And uh, here are some other videos you could check out. I don't care.